Hello and welcome, this is Jennifer McGuire. I have a lot to squeeze into this video. First, I want to show you how I created a bunch of teacher cards using the fastest coloring technique I know, which is ink blending. And then I also want to give you kind of a shortened uh, product release close-up video on the newest release from Avriel. I'll actually show you some of the dies as we go along making these cards, and then I'll show you some of the other products at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and make these cards. I'm using one of Avery L's new stamp sets called Little Minds. It is the absolute perfect teacher set. I make a lot of teacher cards, so I'll be using this set often. I stamped the apples on some white Nina cardstock using some Hero Arts black dye ink, and I cut the apples separate from the leaves so I can color them separately. And I'm going to do all of the coloring at once. Now for the fastest coloring that I can do, it's ink blending with distress inks. So I have festive berry distress inks. Distress inks are designed to blend very well, so they're perfect for this technique. I have the round ink blending tool, which is my favorite of the ink blending tools. And I start by putting pressure outside of my image, and I'm swirling it around and slowly bringing it onto my image. This makes sure that I don't get lines of color and that I get perfect blending. I kind of tilt my ink blending tool so that um, the side of the ink blending tool that hits the paper the most is the side away from my image and I kind of rotate it on. And you just kind of start with light pressure and then add more pressure when you want the color to be darker. But you want to start out light. That really helps you um, to get nice blending and you want to start off of your image and work your way on. So you notice I have a lot of ink outside of the lines but that is the key to really getting good blending. And you'll notice kind of towards the center of the apple, I'm keeping the color lighter, just so I can have that shading around the outside edge. And that's the only color I'm going to use on the apple for now. We'll come back to it after we've cut it out. Now for the leaves, I'm putting a bright light green on the outside edges of each of the leaves. And this is the newest color from Ranger and Tim Holtz. This is Twisted Citron, and it is such a fun bright green. So I'm putting that towards the tips. Again, notice a lot of the color goes off of the image. I start there, and then I work my way on. That may seem like a waste, but that is definitely the key to getting great blending and kind of that soft blending into an image. Okay, after I've done the citron on the tips of the leaves, I'm going to come in with mowed lawn towards the center of the leaves. This is the perfect Kelly green color, and it goes nicely with that twisted citron. You'll notice here that even though I'm adding ink to the center of these leaves, I'm still starting off the paper and working my way on. I really think if you start with a light hand and start kind of off of your image, you'll get great blending every time. And check out that nice blending from light to dark green that I got very quickly with the help of Distress Ink and Ink Blending Tools. Now you can use other inks for this, but I'm telling you, nothing blends as nicely as Distress Inks. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out all my apples and I cut out the leaves. I'll draw the stems back in later. And I'm adding just a little bit, a very light hand of uh, fired brick around the outside edges of the apple just for a little bit more depth. You can always pick up your piece and add the ink around the edges with the ink blending tool if you just want a little bit. That's one way to get the ink just on the outside edge only. So you can play around with this. You can, if you want to make this kind of watercolory looking, you could do the same technique on watercolor paper. Add all the ink as I am and then spray it with water afterwards and it'll give you a great blended look. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do our die cut background so that we can glue these apples on top. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna show you a bunch of the new die cuts from Avery L. A lot of them worked great for the backgrounds on these cards, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to give you a closer look at them. So this first one that we have here is the scalloped frames. There are several frames in here, one that fits nicely on the front of a card, that big one, and then the circle, a smaller rectangle, and a short little border. Now this doesn't actually cut through the paper. This doesn't cut an actual frame. It just puts this kind of faux stitched scallop edge kind of finishing look around your project. I really like the circle on this. It didn't fit my apple very well, so we're just gonna use this large one instead for this project, but I do love the circle. So I have put this onto a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white piece of cardstock. I'm gonna tape it in place so it doesn't shift as I put it through my die cut machine. And again, this doesn't cut a frame. It just does that little finished edge around the outside. You can kind of see it here. It's like a faux stitch scalped edge. It's just a great finishing touch on a simple card. For my next apple card, I'm going to use the new Wonky Stitches set. There's actually two here that cut frames with the faux stitching on the inside edge of the frames. And instead of like the perfectly straight faux stitching, it cuts like these two very loose looking stitch lines, which I think is very unique. 
And there were some other embellishment dies in the set also. So I decided to cut the smaller of the frames and you'll see that you get these two kind of free handed faux stitch lines on the inside edge, which I think is really fun and playful. I don't know that I've seen any dies like this yet, so I was really excited about it and I thought it was perfect for this apple here. And you can see that rectangle fits perfectly in the center of a card. Okay, next, I am so excited about this set. These are the pierced circles. Now these are different than others in that they don't cut through. They just do a circle of piercing. It's very delicate and kind of hard to see in the video, video, but in real life it just adds that little bit of interest and texture that is really, really cool. So there I did one circle, so you can see what one circle of the piercing does. I decided to add some more circles around this. Here I'm doing the bigger one. You could put them all down and do the piercing of each of the circles at once and get a bunch of concentric circles. I just wanted to show you the different options that you can get here. I ended up doing uh, three of them here in the background and it was perfect to put the apple in the center. A very easy way to add a little bit of interest to a simple card. I really wish you could see the fine details better in these videos. Okay, so just like that circle set that I showed you here is the pierced rectangle set. Again, there are a bunch of sizes here and they do just put down the piercing dots only so it doesn't actually cut through. So I'm first gonna do one rectangle here. Now Avery L had a stamp set with a bunch of different things, or I'm sorry, a die set with a bunch of different things in it, including a pierced rectangle die. And I did a video with that a while back, and I'll link to that here so you can get an idea of how to use these. So I was really excited when they came out with this whole set of the rectangles. Now there are a lot of dies in this release, and I just am hoping that this gives you a closer look at how you can use them so that you can decide if any of them would work for you. Now after doing that one rectangle, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. I actually kept all the ones in the center connected instead of cutting those apart. And I ran it through and check out all of those rectangles kind of stacked inside of each other. Now I ended up trimming this down and putting it horizontally on this card. And I thought it was a perfect way to kind of draw attention to the apple in the center. And this brings us to the die that made me do a happy dance when I used it. So this is the burst die. There's a bunch of circles in the center that you can use to also go with it, a bunch of circle dies. But I'm going to use the outside frame only. It cuts about four inches by four inches, which is perfect for the center of a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch square note card. And when you cut this, you get the perfect square with this burst of lines coming out from the circle in the center. Now you could use those circle dies to cut little windows of various sizes in the center of this, but I decided to keep it flat and check that out. It's just a, such a unique look. Okay, so I think that's probably the must-have die from this collection. I don't know, that or the pierced circles, I'm not sure. Okay, so now I've created a bunch of backgrounds and note cards using the Avery L background dies. I'm going to show you some of the other new products a little bit later in this video. And I'm just going to use some foam tape to add the apple and the leaves to the center of each of these cards. Now I'm just using a tiny bit of foam tape. Now I'm going to hand these cards to the teachers. Otherwise I probably would have used more foam tape on the back of that apple to make sure it didn't get crunched in the mail. But these aren't going through the mail. So I decided just to use one leaf per apple. I'm going to draw with a pencil first where I want to have the stem of the apple and then draw over that with my 0.7 Copic Multiliner. Any black pen would work here, and I just thought that was easier than cutting out or re-stamping that apple for the, um, for just for the stem alone. Okay, so now I'm going over the whole apple and the leaves with my Wink of Stella pen. This just will give a little bit of shimmer. Now the tip of your Wink of Stella will probably turn red after going over this red Distress Ink. That's okay, just scribble it off to the side and it will remove it. Now I'm going to turn off on the flashlight on my phone so you can see the sparkle here because the video camera doesn't really catch the sparkle, but check that out. I just love the sparkle that you get with the Wink of Stella Shimmer Pen. And by the way, this is one that I refilled with water and to kind of reactivate all the shimmer that had settled to the bottom, and you can see there's still a lot of shimmer in it. So I finished all the cards off in the same way, and if you want to see pictures of each of these cards, I have them over on my blog, which I linked to below. But right now I want to give you a closer look at the rest of the Avery L collection. I've showed you some of the products in this new release, and I'm going to give you a really quick look at the others in this release. First up, we have the amazing sentiment die cut. Now, I am a big fan of sentiment die cuts because you can um, do create your card and then stick your die cut on top of it, and you don't have to save a spot for your stamped sentiment. So that's why I think die cuts are great. 
Now, Avriel also has a stamp set that is sold separately that has words that go along with this amazing die. Like you can stamp, you are an amazing coach or teacher or friend or have an amazing birthday, and it goes nicely with this die cut. And I think you can use the words and that stamp set also separately. Now, this is the Geek Love um, uh, die set. Now, this goes along with the stamp set, which I'll show you later. But I'm really excited about this heart here. Um, and I wanted to show that to you now. I actually was going to use this with the apple, but I think this heart was a little bit too small for the apple. Now, when you cut this, it actually has faux stitching on both sides of the cut line of the heart. So you can use both of the pieces. And I really, really like that heart shape. Next we have the double pierce circles. Now earlier I showed you the pierce circles that just did a circle of pierce dots. This actually cuts a circle and has dots or the little piercings on the inside and the outside of that cut line. So on both sides of the cut line it does those tiny little holes or the tiny little piercing. This is just a different alternative to just cutting a circle or cutting a circle with the faux stitching. The piercing is a little more subtle and I think it's a fun little detail. And then here is also the double pierced rectangle set. So this is a rectangle frame that it cuts with the piercing on the inside edge and the outside edge. And you can see these are sized to fit perfectly on the front of a note card. So completely changing gears here, I have two die sets in one pocket here, the margarita shaker and the wine shaker. So this cuts an outside frame and an inside frame that is perfect for creating shaker windows. So it's something fun and playful. And then they also have the happy hour stamp set that goes nicely with those shaker uh, die sets. Lots of playful things in here. I like the I, a toast to you um, for good times, happiness, and laughter. Lots of different things in here that go nicely with those margarita and wine shaker dies. Underwater themes seem to be really popular in stamping right now, and this is a really unique die set here. You have the water border, but then there's also little bubbles and splashes and seaweed and things that go nicely with the stamp set also, which I think is unique. This is the swim team die. Now here is the swim team stamp set that goes with it. So you've got those little bubbles and, or the little splashes that I think would be fun to go above the whale there. You have bubbles for a top of the fish. Now this fish set, I know there's a lot of other fish sets out there but this one's a little unique there's a turtle in it there's a puffer fish there's the whale all in one set and there are also some great greetings in here I really like the keep on swimming then who doesn't love a good cupcake cake and donut set I like that all three are on one set so you don't have to get three different sets and there are a lot of great playful images for that and also a die set that coordinates with that that's available separately my two favorite stamp sets in this release are the Apple one that you saw earlier, the teacher one. This is Geek Love. Uh, we call each other nerds in our family in a very loving way because we all work and study hard. So this set will come into good use around here. Now this is the Geek Love die set. So that heart that I showed you before goes along with this set. There's that little banner die and it fits the little banner sentiments in the stamp set. There's lots of different ways you can stamp and arrange these pieces so you can get a different look every time you use it. Next we have the Tweet Tweet stamp set. I think this one would be a lot of fun to color. I'm going on vacation soon and this one's definitely coming along with me. Then there is also the Stay Fresh Pineapple stamp set. This is a smaller set. Both of these are smaller ones. I really like the You're a Delight sentiment in the pineapple set. Then there is this Celebrate with the cute little seals. And there are coordinating dies for both of these. And the pineapple one comes with the word Aloha in it too. So there you have a quick rundown of the newest products from Avery L, along with a fun way to use ink blending to quickly color some images. If you're interested in the products, they're linked below my YouTube description and also over on my blog. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.